Hey everyone, it's Matt, and today we are going to be doing some thrift shopping. So some of the things we're actually looking out for, personally, um, always obviously some clothes kind of switched from shopping regular clothes or, or, you know, brand new clothes to more thrifted clothes. So we recently bought a uh, record box or bin, finally. We are, it didn't fit under our table that we already have the records on and the speaker on and all that sort of stuff. So we're going to be finding one that fits under that and I actually sometime maybe in a couple weeks did want to show you guys our record collection. Um, I know a long 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 time ago I did a, like a little mini record collection in my house tour. But I want to do an in-depth in one and rate it for you guys and everything so uh, stay tuned for that. We're going to measure out this, uh, this bin. And then we're gonna head to the stores. We're not really sure what which places we're gonna go to yet, but um, we're gonna see what's local and and kind of go from there. So as you can see, it's been a few days now since I've had my hair cut. It's getting there. It's starting to blend in together. It's still really ugly when it's tied up, but what can we do? These are all for the day. At least, yeah. So I think like. So this is where we currently had our records. We we had them. Not really stuffed, but packed in there. And this is kind of the new record holder that we got right here. Um, and it doesn't fit into that space. So we're gonna try to find something that uh, can hold our records and our speaker and our record player. Um, and then obviously, close as always. Bye Tormi, see you in a bit. We're up in the DEF CON jacket. It is a beautiful day out in Minnesota today. Like almost 40 degrees, which is amazing for this time of the year. If you guys don't know what DEF CON is, hard style music festival. If you haven't seen it yet, you should check out the video. We actually went there uh, a few years back. So, here's Dang's outfit. She's on. Oh! I don't have my shoes on. Where'd you get this jacket from? Thrift store. Bye, Tormund. Love you. Man, it is beautiful out today. Holy okay, crap. Like Should I unroll my pants? They look beautiful. I like them. That's right. Yeah, it looks good. Oh, man. Haven't had caffeine yet today. It's my first. I know it's horrible for me, especially the non-sugar free one. But that's like my one vice, okay? Sugar energy drinks is my one horrible, horrible eating habit, or dieting habit, I'd say. So you guys gotta let me have it. So we're almost to this, this store uh, out where we kind of live. It's called Turnstile, and I've never been inside. I've only seen it from the outside. Maybe it has a little more vintage clothes. I'm not sure either. We're gonna check that one out. And then there's also a consignment store next to it, which which has like a lot of cool furniture and vases and cups and all that sort of stuff. Mostly, you know, in regards to the record player and all that sort of stuff. So let's see if we have any luck finding that. So let's put our 20s on holiday gifts. Four fifty. Huh? Cardigan for work. Found an oversized polo. Maybe try it on. So here's what we got. We got this cashmere top by Club Room. 17 bucks. I've been wanting to get more into over large, oversized clothes, so.
Hmm. Hmm. Eh. I don't really like it that much. Hmm. All right. Struck out on these two pieces, but hopeful. Maybe we'll be able to find something else. More digging. Got two more pieces. Hopefully. Nice. This is really cool. I this top this was a very interesting. So I decided maybe why not? Let's try it on. Apparently Dang was looking at this one also. So hopeful. Uh, I think I'm gonna get this one. Time to try this thing on. But maybe, just one second. I like it, but I don't know if I want to buy it. I'm buying it. <laughs> I like it. It's your very your colors. But it's a little outside my jacket price point. <laughs> <laughs> this is nice. Yeah, a little fan. Denim. How much did we pay for four pieces of clothes? Twenty-six. Dan got two shirts and I got two tops. I got a cardigan for work. She got a cardigan. A corduroy. Nice. So this is the home part of it. Um, essentially the same thing, but for home items. Comfy. This for a record player, but I don't think it's gonna fit, unfortunately. Oh, but it would fit with wise. Yeah, it would definitely fit inside, but it has Dang has been staring at this for the past like week. week. It's so cozy. It's very comfortable though. It's five sections. We could arrange it however we wanted. We could put this together with that corner. I really like this couch. And my heart is pretty full towards it, but I'm prioritizing getting a better record player stand. Yeah, no, like... You know, this would be. It was too small to hold both our records and the new crate that we have. And I'm really sad because it was a really nice piece of furniture. Um, we could have modified it on our own and just taken out, it had a drawer inside that was taking up an additional three inches. So height wise, the records wouldn't be able to stand. But width wise, they'd be able to fit. So we could have modified it after purchasing it, but it's just such a beautiful piece of furniture. I don't really like the idea of messing with it, not ruining its value or anything, but it just, respecting the way it's supposed to be. On to the next one, we'll find something else and maybe we'll come back for the uh, couch. <laughs> hair is flying all over the place. I don't know what it is, but lately we've had like this strange obsession obsession with like, okay, I'm not gonna say trashy, but what can I say? It's pretty good actually. <laughs> Thank you. So the six pack kind of just broke on dang, but we're okay, none of the bottles broke. Tormund, we're home. Hi baby, hi, you wanna go outside? <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> don't break your neck. Sit, other hand. Good boy, all right, go. Go! Woo! Bye bye! Love me some Little Caesars sometimes, guys. It's not that bad. Coming from someone that used to work in pizza, homemade mom and pop pizza, I don't even think Little Caesars is that bad.
So I don't know. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> nice try, Torben. I know you guys saw these pieces within the store, but I didn't really get to show them to you guys. This is a button-up. It's called Colors by Alexander Julian. I really like the colors of this. It popped out, you know, really nice. And I'm going to be wearing this probably a lot in the spring as more of a layering outfit. You know, I think it works good with something like this, the graphic tee. Uh, that kind of pops out a little bit and you just tuck it in and roll up the sleeves. And something like that. And this was about seven bucks. So very, very, very worth it. So there it is. 100% cotton. Like this, I don't own anything even close to something like that. And another piece I don't own anything close to is an, also this. So this is a piece from Jeffrey Bean. Um, it was nine bucks. Mm -hmm. It's got like this uh, fuzzy, fuzzy fabric and it feels really good. Obviously I have a shirt under. There it is. So I spent about 15 bucks at the thrift store to get two articles of clothing. All right, guys, as always, don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> and hit the bell because Torn's making bell sounds. Peace. See you in two days.